Man, did I miss China. Welcome to another video on this channel. This time I will be playing as the Mingan Insurgency. But wait, haven't I played them before? Yeah, that was before the rework. With them, I will be trying to unify China and beat up the Japanese again. So let's head in. At the start, as the Mingan Insurgency, we face certain destruction, having fought against the League's encirclement campaigns for almost four years since the failure of the Northern Expedition. We have the Central Committee, which is supporting us in exile in Paris. But we, as the Mingan government, located down south in the mountains, have to desperately fight on and hope that a miracle occurs which will allow us to expand our power base. As you can see, our legitimacy is abysmal. Our army fighting on as an insurgency while we still have yet to modernize it. Right now, we are the last bastion of Chinese socialism. So let's see what will happen. We can immediately begin to research some new guns and into industry and now wait for a chance to seize upon. Well, a new year has arrived. Now we plan to smuggle more weapons into our insurgency territory. Let's use the wealthy OCC benefactors in Guangzhou. Looks like there is some trouble in the league. That's great for us. Our dear country moans under the way of imperialism. Because the League is currently facing troubles with their railways, we can try to seize upon this opportunity. We shall rise in the fields of Jiangxi. The Wuhu Massacre. Moderate positions to create a broader appeal. Well, the League is facing even more troubles due to the governor of Anhui, Zhen Tiaoyan, breaking free from the League. Well, with Black Monday arriving, it looks like Jili authority over Eastern China is coming to an end. It is finally coming. Sun Chan Feng, the leader of the League, has been shot. We shall need a mobile reserve. Delusion of Qing hegemony shatters the end of an era. And now we shall use this as an opportunity to stage an uprising. Fu Chan. And now the League War begins. With our remaining forces, we shall push north towards Nanjing to establish a new government. We shall first focus on securing the supply hubs, and especially two provinces down in the south, while the League is yet in disarray, because they are not just fighting us, they are also fighting the Anqing. Let's immediately also cut off their railways so they don't get any supplies. And we shall also cut off their units in the south, and capture the port so that our allies in Europe can send us equipment that is much needed. As you can see, we also have an interface here which shows the morale of the different constituents. We have the highest morale of all. And we shall use it to raise nationalists. We also have the mission secured ports to get supplies from our allies. Looks like Wu Paifu has backed the Nanjing clique, but this will not matter as we will destroy them anyway. We have secured Nanchang and with that the north of Jiangxi. We also intercepted a unit that was trying to relieve Nanchang, but they are being pinned down by our troops. Let's immediately try to rush north and capture as much territory here as possible. We also now have a small focus tree for the League War, so let's use it. Return of the second NRA. Xiamen is ours and with that we also gained a military factory. So let's use it to produce some guns. And now we only have to secure the Fujian province, which will happen once we capture Quanzhou. Let's also appeal for international support. Spies and secrets in the League War. Throw the report in the trash. Looks like the volunteers sent by the Third International have arrived, which will greatly help us in the struggle. The return of the Central Committee. Welcome back, Chairman Wang. And with that, we have gained an actual good division. I mean, it's also veteran, which uh, immediately also strengthens it even further. And with this division, we shall mostly push them out of most of the cities. And with the League divisions falling in Quanzhou, we have finally secured the Fujian province. Let's also scavenge supply and raise men in Fujian. And you can see our committee's own division already performing well. They will stand no chance with this. We are also advancing on Wenzhou, giving us a port and also supplies. While we currently are also trying to completely secure Jiangxi, with the three remaining provinces still remaining here. After return of the second MRA, we shall petition the International for aid. Chen Jian leaves for Hunan. Hopefully he finds success. We are encircling two infantry divisions of the League currently. And now the uh, orders are also helping us with that. Great. We can also now finally raise men in Jiangxi and also scavenge for supplies here. Our first advisor will be Zhang Boyun. We have secured Hangzhou and shall advance onto Nanjing. And right now Nanjing will fall and with that the leak will also fall. And now we only have to deal with Anhui, which will be quickly because they were already losing to the leak. We just extended their life for a few minutes. Well, they will not last very long because their cities are being captured by us. Goodbye.
and Sun Liren offers his service. Against imperialists, we must all be united. We also get much needed support from the international. Victory in the League War. A second chance for the national revolution. Our focus tree now changed to this, which will lead us to destroying the Jili and liberating Beijing, before then trying to completely unify China. The first repatriated congress. Let's get started right away. I will also send the army on the railway right here. A new dawn in Nanjing. A new republic rises. Our capital is now in Nanjing. We also now gain new problems. We have our national revolutionary army, which is not in the best of states. We are recovering from the League War, which was very destructive across the five provinces located here. And our military affairs commission is in a dire state. Sadly, our candidate did not win in the Hunanese election. And the reconstruction faction has returned from Hawaii. Tensions within the League of Chinese Syndicalists. Under the socialist flag, we shall free China. The closing of the Congress. This now starts political faction journalism in our country. We have the two main factions. We have the Reorganized Comrades Association under Wang Jingwei and the Provisional Action Committee under Song Jingling. And there are also factions in the League of Chinese Syndicalists, the CSP Radicals, the CSP Orthodox and the World Society. And with these decisions we can try to strengthen one of these factions in the League of Chinese Syndicalists. But this will increase radicalism, which will later on take away stability and increase totalist support. So now let's reopen the one military academy. Let's immediately strengthen our army by spamming out some more of these divisions. And of course we shall also reorganize our production now because we actually have factories now. Speaking of factories, let's also build military factories in Jinling. Factions within academy. A new headmaster is needed soon. And now we shall do legacy of the Mingan insurgency. We also now have a power struggle between the Reorganized Comrades Association and the Provisional Action Committee. Strengthening one side too much will lead to a weekly stability drop, which is not wanted. So we shall keep them in check, but still support the one faction we want to, in the end, rule China. Our chief of army shall be Li Yishen, who will decrease radicalism. A sad day, because our premier Liu Chongkai has died. And now we shall fold the premiership back into the presidency. This now puts our president Wang Jingwei into the position of second in command, which will definitely be seen as unpopular and as a power grab by Wang. Welp, and soon enough, the wrath of the party. Confirming Gu as premier will soothe tempers. So now we have a premier again. It looks like delegation cities is collapsing. The old guard prevails. Invite the India click, which will give us more generals. And now we shall go down to deal with the warlords. Sadly, we have to demobilize the economy because I do not want to lose stability. The propaganda department we shall emphasize the socialist revolution. I thought it would go down to early mobilization, but apparently not. Uh, this kinda sucks. Oh well, I'll have to deal with that then. God freaking damn it. Why... Why did you let them coup? No, I wanted to kill Hunan, but they have they've lost their only ally in the south and now just joined the Qing government. God damn it. Hopefully I can kill Shandong before they join the Qing. Also, why is my supply hub not in... Where, you know, where, where it should be. Oh my god, now I have to connect the railway here. Great. Oh well, revive the Military Affairs Commission. Uh, demand Shandong clicks submission. The fate of the League officers. We sweep away the old order. Well, of course they refuse to yield. They are not really in favor of uh, our revolution. So let's hope that uh, our supply problems will not matter here. Let's do our first army reform. Let's now try and restore our industrial capacity via these focuses down here. So let's begin with that. Well, the Shandong click did not stand a chance against our army. At least I got someone before someone else would snap them away from me. Let's also now offer an alliance to Li Songren. Yeah, he joins. I could now also move on to Yunnan. But I will wait with that because I need to rebuild my country. The Military Affairs Commission. Allow KMT CEC civilian oversight only. A new Republican camaraderie. For the good of the party, a Hawaiian fifth column. We're onto them. A look at Wang Jingwei's camp. Favor the RCA moderates. The legislative yuan. An accord is struck. Before we start our rebuilding effort, let's first tender to the masses and then promote revolutionary culture to get a resource slot. This focus also gives us a compliance buff due to us having this advisor we hired at the beginning of our 
our campaign. The passage of the 1937 Organic Law. With a list of applicants already in front of him, the president and his closest advisors decide their nominations carefully balanced across factions. The judicial yuan. Gu Jingding will shake things up a bit. Let's now get the education reformer as our political advisor. The World Society triumphant. The old god returns. Guomenjun exiles arrive. Our revolutionary comrades. Interpreting the new culture movement. A revolution against old culture is needed. Now we can finally intensify reconstruction efforts and try to rebuild the former league territory. Our first army reform is completed. Two more to go. When the center cannot hold. Cultivate the idealism of the world society. The gathering opposition. Focus on the peasant agrarian element. The national labor union. Keep a tight grip on Chinese unionism. Well, we finally courts all of the Nanjing clique's territory. Now only the Anqing clique and Shandong clique to go. Oh, also the ports from Shanghai. Let's get back to partial mobilization. The liberal outpost. A young man honoring his father. I've now converted the rest of the army to, you know, the cool template we got. The draft law on disposition of rebel property. Use it to stabilize the government. The needs of the state. Focus on banks and bureaucracy. I will now also reorganize the template a bit with some more stuff in it now. Also, in the Spirit of the Academy, you can get the Spirit of Wampua, which I most of the time forget because I <laughs> never look into the Spirit of the Academy. Uh, anyway, we shall uh, use it. Gives us more stability with party popularity and also some other cool traits, I guess. Let's get the Resource Commission as our industrial concern. The divided sister party. They side with the PAC. And now, finally. We have revitalized our economy, and with that we shall now do eyes in the dark. Well, bad news looks like Yan Shishuan sided with the Qing government. After having revitalized our economy, our production line looks like this right now. I've researched early trucks and produced them now to use them for increasing supplies, while I'm also focusing on artillery and guns, because you see, I do need them. And I will also later add a military factory to support equipment when I have enough military factories, which I'm still building. Ah. Uh, I need more, more factories, more. Internal security of the party. Empower Zhou and Lai's Tekke. Let's now focus on reforming the National Revolutionary Army into a strong fighting force. Tekke heroism on display. Crackdown on party dissidents. Um, what? I've never seen them join the Qing. When I play the Qing, they always refuse. This is unfair. The AI is against me. I mean, at least this time they're not immediately focusing on me. As you can see, they have a war goal against the Feng Chang. Though this doesn't mean I will sit idly by. Let's uh, put the army on the border and plan an attack. Let us now complete the revolutionary mission, which will allow us to attack the Qing and finally get rid of Jili dominance in China. Well, sadly, Beijing has already fallen to the Feng Chang. But uh, let's see how much territory we will be able to grab once this focus is completed. Let's also get a air reformer for uh, stuff I want to do later. And another army reform is needed. Back to army reforms. It is time to avenge the northern expedition by launching a second one. They will stand no chance, mostly because their uh, troops are not really on my border. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, you can see the open gaps here. <laughs> they are surrounded by in, uh, not really surrounded, but uh, you, 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 they're, they're, they have like three fronts they have to cover. And we have captured Wuhan. Will this be enough? Nope. Let's expand further here before the uh, uh, Shangxi army arrives. And also capture the rest of the cities here. And the Shangxi click is no more. And I also blocked them from the north uh, now. Let's finally end this bitter struggle. And at the end of the day, we have most of the points secured. Let's first try and get as much territory north as possible. And we're already contested. But I have high hopes. We did do much in the war, so I don't think it will be a problem. Can I have this around Beijing? I can also capture it. And I got everything. Great. Let's also steal their navy because I, I do want navy. And with that I now have to split my army between the Feng Chiang and the Hunan clique. And uh, hope the Chongqing government doesn't uh, immediately declare war on me. Uh, but uh, I do hope that I'm getting equipment through them now capturing. So that's first of all. Half of my army please down here. The rest shall go up there. Oh, they don't actually, actually never mind. The Qing declared war on them so they don't have a war goal against me. They still have to do it. Uh, so actually then we'll just send the entire army down there and uh, immediately try and kill them. The completion of the Northern Expedition. We have a lot of work ahead of us, uh, which now debuffs our nation. <laughs> Great. From the previous debuffs to the next debuffs, take a sleeper's form. Courageous men in dire times. 
And with their only two big cities falling, they capitulate. And uh, why do I don't have... I literally took the state, man. Shut up. And we are looking thick already. Why did I say that? Let's get the Council of Theorists as our theorist. Because I want uh, to use Sundliren uh, right here. And start with the superior firepower doctrine. Uh, well, in that case, just quickly try and kill them. Oh, which I... Um, I have no hopes for happening, but uh, never say never. Ascendancy of the political department. A new generation of Chinese officers. Ah, uh, luckily it is enough for them to cap. They still have most of the points because killing people is apparently uh, more worth it than actually capturing the cities, which does not make sense in my opinion. Fate of the third NRA. Only reliable generals can be trusted. Declare war, no balls, do it. Reconciling with the Goo brothers. Loyalty to the nation comes first. Just declare war, man. You have war goal. Don't you like using your war goals? Ah, finally, thank you. Uh, now, time for you to be crushed. Ah, also, when you have a general with certain loyalties, for example, Deng Yanda being associated with the Provisional Action Committee, uh, they will give support once they get a new skill. So, yeah, you should keep this in mind if you don't want to go overboard with, you know, the dominance. What is it with Chinese nations and opening new fronts when they certainly should not do that? Well, this will be the end for them because uh, their two big cities will fall now. Goodbye. And with that, we've secured a lot of territory now. Wow, we went from just being over here to stretching all the way west. Was this a northern expedition or a western expedition, guys? You know, I would like to increase the integration of Ling Guang, but you can see uh, they have a 22% chance of refusing. And uh, you know my luck, that this is not a 22% chance, it's a 100% chance. Anyway, our troops shall be moved to the border with the Feng Chan in case they actually, you know, invade. Well, it's great, you know, getting all this territory. Uh, downside to this is... <laughs> resistance. Ah, great. Just one more army reform remaining. So after these army focuses, I will now go down the branches right here to fix the NRA, which is right now disorderly due to all the territory we took now. And also try to fix the economy because, uh, let's say, it's not doing well again. I will wait with this because Strike Quick, Strike Fast gives me some cool offensive buffs, which I want to use against uh, enemies and not just have that for wasted, you know. So yeah, let's do the Northern Expedition Avenged. And due to us rebuilding the territories right here, we now get a cool national spirit that helps us integrating our new territories. A new day in Baiping. Well, we need more troops, definitely, especially if uh, the Japanese later join. I will probably recruit irregulars to guard my ports because, you know, I, I am getting irregular infantry buffs, so why not use that? Let's now host the second repatriated congress. Grand ambitions for a new republic. We turn dreams into reality. The fate of Puyi. We shall send him to exile. The language issue. China must be united, one way or another. National reconstruction. A new direction is needed to combat capitalism. And now, let's do the last army reform. Then we just need to reorganize our high command, I guess. The national anthem. And of course, we shall choose the three principles of the people. Uh, I'm a bit, you know, cautious with the power struggle here, so let's uh, get a bit down. The march to unification. We must free China no matter what. I will expand the agency now. The closing of the Congress. We have a lot of work to do. Let's now entrench Dangguo to get more political power because they will join our coalition, which will give us half of their influence as political power. I will also get Zhou Enlai to get more operators and quicker agency upgrade time. And now we shall go down these four focuses to get a resource slot and also improve our legitimacy and get this cool buff which will help us grow compliance and also get rid of some of the economic debuffs. Uh, well, the coalition is doing more political power gain than the actual party I have. Okay, great. The four elders denounce Wang. The elders make fair points. I don't know why I completely forgotten about this. Man, I'm... Ugh, God damn it. I'm, I I have to get used to this. I... My God. Buy my equipment, guys. I, I, I need... I also need equipment, so let's buy their equipment. Let's add anti-air to our divisions, because I've been producing it now. Uh, I need it because, you know, um, let's say creating an air force is a bit hard when you do not know what an air force is. I'm working with three resource slots on aircraft. Oh my god. Just to, you know, get everything researched I need. Uh, great. Last army reform, and now we just have to deal with the rest here. Which is not really, you know, they, it's not... 
it's not really that much important to get rid of that. I don't think you need manpower as China. Well, both the focus here completed. We get this cool national spirit and now the compliance growth is getting better. So hopefully it will not take long to integrate all these territories here. I also do not like that I have to research stuff in this focus tree to unlock any MIOs here because uh, getting to this will take a long time. I mean, you do get sizes immediately when you get these MIO spots. So now let's do this. More compliance, always great. Qing territory is finally integrated, which will give us more factories. Finally. Let's also get preparing for the long war. Shanxi also integrated now. Followed by Hunan. Let's now fix the army. Welp, the Russian invasion of the Reichspakt has begun. The cult of the chairman, the father and son of a new China. Welp, the Second Weltkrieg has begun. The grain quagmire. Streamline taxation and lower it. And now we finally cord everything up. Uh, yeah, that's cord, by the way. Look, there are some companies now. Let's get some officers in here now that I will definitely need. Finally, can you use these? All right, airplanes. Let's go. We get, we could uh, airplanes now. Let's build them first. Uh, here's the template for the cast, and here's the template for the fighter. If you're interested, just so I have some planes. Uh, let's just sell them, because I, I don't need this. Someone will definitely want to buy these. The Yiguando intrigue. Reassign and protect him. So after reorganizing the army, let's actually let's do a march of the Red Army. And after that, we shall reorganize our economy. The shifting underground. It is high time we excise these parasites. All right, let's uh, march to Manchuria. Time to do some economic reforms now. All right, it's finally time to get rid of the Feng Chan. I was hoping they would declare war on me, but apparently not. I guess I can just kill them then. I've also prepared my army against the Japanese, as you can see. Put some defensive stuff here, and also for the coast defense, defense bonuses with the field marshal. And the template for defending the ports is this. Uh, irregulars, as I said, I will use them because I do get bust for them. Let's finally do army of the revolution. Well, that I joined the Japanese, so let's push, push as fast as possible. Let's end payback. Song survives the day. All the legation cities have been crushed. And also the Japanese possessions. I've also already sent my troops there to guard. Except Shanghai. I'm also guarding the German stuff. Because we know how well the AI actually handles guarding their ports. I sent the rest of the army up there now. And now Wang dressed up nicely for a war. <laughs> oh well, you guys chose to stay into the port, which was your mistake. And now you shall die for that. Goodbye. And finally, they capitulated. Why did you stop invading them? It's time to crush the Japanese completely by activating my cool plan that I prepared. I can trash that now. Also, spying on them now. The Red Napoleon. Oh god. 60% now. Uh, down. It's best. And they shall also finally die up here. Yep, great. Xinjiang is now forming the United Front because, you know, I have to be in a defensive war. But they, we can also offensively unite against a common enemy, but okay. Goodbye. What well, fun time in hell, isn't it? You see this? They're cheating. Look, the AI is cheating. Can't believe it. Nope, it's going well. Already captured the supply up here and they're last standing the entire time. So, you know, they're desperate. Well, counter their naval invasion. They can't do shit. Well, Encircle the port here and dare that. Let's push on south now. I mean, my air force is helping. They don't even have green air, even though they have a lot of planes here. Well, uh, goodbye, Japanese army. It was nice knowing you. And with that, the Japanese losses are tremendous. <laughs> All right, time to garrison. Boys. We're doing it. Taiwan will be ours. I like how the majority of those that should actually drop did not drop. My luck, honestly. I should also do this, by the way. So that they actually go over. The rule over Taiwan ends here now. Great. Well, I can send them somewhere else. While the 12 divisions here will guard the ports. I don't know, Japan. I don't think this is a smart move. Uh, considering my uh, main armies here. That, that's a lot of divisions that are going to die now. You can try breaking. Okay. God damn it. We're gonna die anyway. Maybe not a lot of divisions, but still. I will replace the 
the education reformer with the state capitalist. And now we can, you know, get bigger buffs here. Okay. But I get the option to not to refuse. Oh, wait, I'm not. Okay, never mind. I'm in a faction that I'm not the leader of, which is totally not makes sense. Let's send the army back home. And we've won! And also, we have Taiwan. Hopefully, this time I don't have to invade them a second time. And some more industrial stuff that we can do. And before we unite China, I want to be ready for the focus here. Also, because their refusal is now down, I'm going to increase the integration of Liangguang. And now we shall declare the reunification of China. White Sun Rises. Another Congress awaits. Uh, yeah, I wanted to finish the focus because I don't want to keep this. So let's do the third repatriated Congress, which will finally end the power struggle and a victory will be decided. I wonder who's gonna win. We shall liberate Korea and say farewell to Kim Hong-il. Thanks for your service. You've helped me with your infantry buffs because the other guy sucks. The occupation of Hankou, a long-awaited revenge. Avenging the humiliation. Our movement is being torn apart. Fallout of the Nanjing incident. Now wait just a second. The Taiwan dilemma. Show up Jiang's rule in Taiwan. Oh, and now Song Jingling's provisional action committee is dominant, which uh, gives me disgrace stability modifier, but it will not matter. The February instructions. Expel the MMIC at once, which removes my cool theorist sadly, but uh, I don't care. Wang's opening speech. An inauspicious start. As the nation unites, the party divides. All governing coalitions will come to an end. Oh no, my political power. A league divided. Wang has become too much of a danger. Yang Guang delegates a line with the chairman. Really? The liberals push on. In defense of constitutionalism. Also, our economy has been revitalized. We now have golden years. The long shadow. This now deals with radicalism. And as you can see, yeah. It will not do much. I'm very good at not, you know, uh, making my country radical, right? Yeah. Uh, if you wonder where my political power went, uh, let's say I'm building some resources. And more integration. The impeachment vote. The die is cast. Wang is ousted from power. The tyrant falls. And now Song Jingling is our new country leader with Deng Yanda as the second in command. The rising backlash. An undue escalation. The RCA strikes back. This was not part of the plan. No, my stability. Also, uh, demobilize the economy. The coalition wavers. Where is General Li? These despicable traitors have killed General Li Yishen, our great chief of army and war minister. And this is the breaking point. We need a unity government. We shall appoint Deng Yanda as our new chief of army. The emergency coalition. Stress the fight against tyranny. Wampoa Military Academy Revolutionary Classmates Association. Fraternity, devotion, sincerity. The end of the rebellion. Congratulations, Ambassador Wang. Action ceases the day, but the day is not over yet. Song's PAC secures leadership of the KMT. The people have stood up. A shot across the bow. Well, no, that's not really fair. The party and its people. We can still talk about this. Hardliners and compromisers. A house divided cannot stand. More integration. And finally, the Congress comes to an end. And now we have even more focuses. Let's first do lead the liberation of Asia. Let us demand the Ma click submission. Well, now for the last integration of Liangguang. Well, uh, who would have thought they refused? Um, that means they have to die. Let's demand the return of the concessions. Well, sucks for you guys. Because I'm gonna seize them anyway. Uh, so, loved. These three focuses, we shall uh, deal with our political problems. Let's start with rally the people's militias. Well, there goes the mark click. Of course, I cannot take everything because, you know, it's not like anyone else should be able to take anything. Uh, we can uh, say goodbye to them. Oh my god, he got 10 attack. <laughs> well, it's used the attack to, you know, conquer more land. I do like conquering land. Well, demand annexation and, you know, demand the whole country. Tibet demands autonomy. Uh, no. Well, sucks for you, my friend. Is my army even ready? No, it wasn't. Oh, my bad. Good news, the guys are integrated finally, giving us their whole entire army, which can be useful. And now we can finally declare a permanent capital, uh, which will of course be Nanjing. What else, guys? What else? Well, no, they took this before I could. God. Asshole. Oh, can create a faction. Let's do that. Yeah, still don't get it, man. Well, I can't seize it because I have another aggression pack down. Oh, God, okay. 
So what for that? Oh, well, never mind. They just gave it back. Thanks, I guess. Divide et impera. Bearing arms and showing teeth. Well, but at least someone knew their precarious situation well. Let's liberate a loyal Mongolia. They... I've uh, returned this with state transfer to them. Because I hate how this looks when they don't have it. And that is the end of the bit. Goodbye. Let's integrate Xinjiang now. The liberal ironic. A tough but fair bargain. The fate of the bit. Annex the dependent lands. The situation in Tibet. Allow for some of the promised local elections. And now finally, initiate land to the tiller. Building a revolutionary committee. We must be careful with who we trust. Would someone say integrate even further? Land to the tiller program. Pursue moderate land reform. And now we shall do the Red Napoleon. And finally, we get rid of the warlordist modifiers. Let's integrate them even further. Let's reconcile the RCA. Or the uh, last integration decision. And now, fate of the CRS. Fate of the political department click. Reinstate their commissions. And Xinjiang is integrated. Great. And now revolution by the Chinese method. Braving the darkness. Purge them once and for all. Demise of Lao Ban. Putting down the rabbit dog. Honoring the revolutionary martyrs. And after that, empower rural corporatists. Legacy of the India click. We are comrades after all. And now consolidate the Wampur Military Academy Revolutionary Classmates Association. And after that, let's do these three focuses. The soldiers do. Cut the red tape and push through the WMARCA's extensive propositions. A dissolution to young guard. What's past is past. We must go forward. And finally, let's do Pingmin Chengquan. Party reborn. A new party for a new China. Ah, let's get Sun Fu into the government. <laughs> The Crown Prince of the Kuomintang. And finally, this focus is done. We now get the National Spirit Direct to Napoleon, which, you know, depends on how popular the Paternal Autocrat faction is. He also, yeah, like, loses his... Like, this is now his actual trait, but it's dynamic. A more honest to the large. Zhonghua Minghua Wansui. And this is where I will end the video. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And see you next time. Goodbye.